My friends, in this video I'm going to explain how automation and game mechanics for 5e work in Fantasy Grounds Unity. I highly recommend watching my other two videos on Fantasy Grounds Unity Combat. One video is how to do everything you need to do as a player, and the other one is how to run combat as a dungeon master. Alright, so let's get into the mechanics. First up, let's say that we're going to do a basic attack. So starting off with the cleric. Critical fail. So it will say automatic miss when you roll a critical fail. However, you can see that we rolled a d20, added 6, which is the modifier. So for all of these rolls that I make, you'll see that everything in the character sheets will automatically be applied to your dice roll. Let's try that again. Alright, so this time we rolled a 13 for a total of 19. Besides the die roll, Fantasy Grounds then shows what your total attack was, and it will say whether or not it hit. So Fantasy Grounds knows your character sheet, it knows the enemy's character sheet, and it will and it will apply your dice roll to their character sheet. Alright, now let's roll for damage. So we rolled a 5, added 2 for 7, and it says 7 damage applied to the Armonite. Sure enough, if we open up the character sheet, we can see that 7 damage has been applied to the Armonite. But what if our cleric bravely goes and attacks Demogorgon in the same way? Here he rolled 4 damage, but you can see that 0 damage has been applied to Demogorgon, and it says that he resisted it. So if we open up Demogorgon's character sheet, we can see that it has damage immunity from piercing from non-magical attacks. So Fantasy Grounds is going to keep track of what type of damage you're doing and apply it to the resistances and immunities of the enemies. Now we'll open up the wizard and cast Scorching Ray. So we rolled a total of 9 damage, but 4 damage was applied to Demogorgon because he, it was partially resisted. So again looking back, here is where it says that he has a resistance to fire, so that's why it only did half damage. Okay, so what about saving throws? Now the wizard will target these two spine devils and cast Fireball. So she's forcing both of them to roll. You can see they both roll with, with advantage because spine devils have magic resistance. So Fantasy Grounds will automate that for you as well. Then it will apply their roll to the wizard's DC and it will say whether or not that was a success or a failure. Okay, so what about saving throws? Here we're going to have the wizard uh, break the rules a little bit, but cast Disintegrate against both of, both of these spine devils. So we will make them roll their dexterity saving throws. Again, they're rolling with advantage for magic resistance. You can see that one of them failed that save, and it was automatically untargeted once they failed. So Fantasy Rounds will quickly help you determine who passed their check and who failed. So now to demonstrate everything that we've gone over so far about the different types of resistances and damage immunities, uh, the wizard is going to break the rules by targeting everyone, forcing them all to make dexterity saving throws for Ice Storm. Keep in mind, all of these enemies have magic resistance, so Fantasy Rounds will calculate that. It will calculate who succeeded and who failed and it will automatically do half damage to everyone who succeeded. Then we will roll for damage. So keep in mind this is magic bludgeoning damage and magic cold damage. And it will apply the correct amount of damage to all of these enemies uh, depending on whether they pass their save but also what sort of resistances and immunities they have. So this can really save you from getting bogged down in combat and focus on your choices and your actions rather than uh, doing fantasy taxes. Alright, so now we're going to talk about conditions and effects. So this cleric is going to cast Hold Person on this Spine Devil. We're going to skip the save and just go straight to the effect. So when I click that, it says the effect Paralyzed has been applied to the Spine Devil. And sure enough, here there's another new, new icon showing the effect. That C is for concentration. We'll get to that in just a second. And then also if you look on the combat tracker, this is Spine Devil 2 
Sure enough, Spine Devil 2 has Paralyzed applied to it. Okay, Concentration. So let's say that this Demogorgon now attacks the Cleric. So what we see here is that the Demogorgon has done 29 damage to the Cleric. The Cleric automatically made a concentration check. He has Warcaster, so he rolled with advantage. He rolled a total of 18 versus the DC of 14, so he succeeded. Let's do that again. This time the Cleric failed. You can see that the effect paralyzed expired, so it was deleted from the Spine Devil. Also, the Cleric is no longer concentrating. So I find this really useful as a serial forgetter of concentration checks. Alright, so that about sums it up for automation and game mechanics. About now some links are showing up on the screen for my other tutorials. Feel free to check them out. Have a good one, folks.